Sample questions for Prometric Exam Nursing Care Skills Test Part 1 SSW Japan Number 1. Which of the following conditions is characterized as a PICA disorder? Tama! The correct answer is letter D. Letter A is for constipation. Letter B are symptoms of dementia. Letter C is for anorexia. Number 2. Which of the following statements is not correct about CPR? Tama. The correct answer is letter B. It refers to Heimlich Maneuver, a procedure used to help a choking person who is conscious and unable to talk. Number 3. What is a disease? that forms a dense and cloudy area in the lens of the eye which is common to the elderly people. Tama! The correct answer is letter A. Cataract is a cloudy area in the lens of the eye that leads to the decrease in vision. Often, it develops slowly and can affect one or both sides of the eyes. Number 4. What is true about Maslow's hierarchy of needs? The correct answer is letter C. Letter A are some of the basic physiological needs. Letter B are examples of self-actualization. Letter D belongs to safety needs. Number 5. What is the function of the kidney?
Tama! The correct answer is letter D. Letter A refers to the stomach. Letter B refers to the bladder. And letter C refers to the heart. Number 6. How can we assist a user or patient with difficulty in swallowing? Tama. The correct answer is letter D. Letter A is not advisable because it adds distractions. User or patient should be fed in a quiet room so they can concentrate eating. Letter B is advisable for patients having impaired vision. And letter C is not advisable because the caregiver should be sitting down with the patient while assisting so they are at patient's eye level. Number 7. What is the appropriate way of supporting or assisting a right hemiplegic patient while putting on or changing clothes? Tama! The correct answer is letter D. In putting on clothes, put first the affected side, followed by the unaffected side. In removing clothes, put first the unaffected side, followed by the affected side. Number 8. Which of the following can easily cause aspiration to patients with difficulty in swallowing? Tama! The correct answer is letter B. Although letter B is a soup, some of its ingredients come in small and bigger chunks. Saliva, food, liquids, and other material can cause aspiration. It can cause serious problems like pneumonia. It is advisable to thicken the food, mince, or pureed food. Number 9. In assisting the user from bed to wheelchair, which of the following is not correct? The correct answer is letter D. Make sure the user holds the wheelchair's armrest on the far side using the unaffected side. Number 10. Choose the one that is not appropriate in baiting assistance.
Tama! The correct answer is letter A. Give liquids to the user before and after taking a bath to prevent dehydration. Letter B. Always consider the user's privacy. Letter C. Avoid taking a bath one hour before and after meals because it reduces digestion and absorption function. Letter D. Reduce the temperature difference between the dressing room and the bathroom to prevent heat shock. Heat shock is the word used in Japan as a reaction in sudden changes in temperature and it can be also life-threatening. Number 11. Which of the following is not true in aphasia? Tama. The correct answer is letter B. Having problems swallowing certain foods or liquids is called dyspagia. Number 12. What is appropriate in bathing assistance? Tama. The correct answer is letter A. Letter B is incorrect because hemiplegic user should enter the bathtub from the unaffected side. Letter C is incorrect because one should consider the user's privacy. And letter D is also wrong because the water's temperature should be checked first by the caregiver followed by the user. Number 13. Which of the following conditions refers to the damage of the optic nerve of the eye? It is often caused by an abnormally high pressure in the eye. Tama! The correct answer is letter C. Glaucoma. Number 14. What is the proper way to communicate with a user? Tama. The correct answer is letter D. In communicating with the user, it is important to observe her or his facial expressions and always listen to what she or he is saying. Number 15. What is appropriate in changing clothes for physically handicapped user. Tama! The correct answer is letter C. This is the correct way of changing clothes 
for handicap users. Take off the clothes from the unaffected side followed by the affected side, but put on the clothes from the affected side followed by the unaffected side. Sixteen. Which of the following is not an example of physical restraint? Tama. The correct answer is letter A. Using violence against the user's body is a physical abuse. 17. Which of the following is not correct about oral care? Tama. The correct answer is letter B. Remove the denture from the lower jaw followed by the upper jaw. 18. The following are the adverse effects of physical restraint except Tama. The correct answer is letter D. The adverse effect of the physical restraint will cause reduction of physical abilities and also worsen the dementia symptoms of the user. 19. The following are types of abuse except Tama. The correct answer is letter C. Administering excessive psychotropic medication is a form of physical restraint. 20. Which of the following is not correct in assisting user in a wheelchair? Tama. The correct answer is letter C. Be careful and make sure that the hand of the user will not be caught on the driving wheels. 'Yan lang po para sa araw na ito. Stay tuned for the next video para marami pa tayong mapag-aralan. Minasama mi te kurete do marigato gozaimashita. Kung may natutunan po kayo, please subscribe and like or comment below for any suggestion. Thanks for watching. Salamat po.